We need some chivity chapsticks and lip glip, some chap slap, some lip glip chap slap, chippity chap, chippity chap. <laughs> Welcome back to Ever Dis Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Ever Dis Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about Go Figure. Go Figure is a 2005 Disney Channel original movie. It's directed by Francine McDougall, cinematography by Gordon Lonsdale, editing by Terry Blythe, music by Kenneth Burgomaster, and it's written by Patrick J. Clifton and Beth Ragazio. The film stars Jordan Danger as Caitlin, Jake Abel as Spencer, and Jody Russell as Linda. What even is this? Are you proud of yourself? This is a mess. The classical song at the beginning of her program at the end is the classical song I used in my behind the scenes video during vlog or during vlog during celebration month. Uh, with that big editing sequence. That made me laugh. The dialogue in this movie is actually garbage, especially in the first half. Uh, the brother giving up hockey uh, because his sister does it now, stupid, especially the way they handled it. That could have been an interesting storyline, but they fumbled that one just like the rest of the movie. The entire concept of hockey players and the figure skaters hating each other because they both do things on the ice, I, even if that is real, stupid. So dumb. Both are insane. Ice like Figure skaters are hurling themselves into the air and doing insane things. Like, what? And... Hockey players are like fighting and have like some of the most endurance I've ever seen in my life. Like I just, I don't understand that concept at all. Every person in this movie sucks. Not char like actor, although. <laughs> but every character is deplorable. The mom is so bad. Caitlin is awful. Every hockey player is so mean. Every figure skater is so mean. The coaches are mean. And Spencer's kind of a turd blossom. Like, everyone is mean. Like, so many characters are just too mean for too long that they, like, are almost irredeemable. Like, I just... Oh my god, I can't stand it. Um, this is just really horribly written. I did not enjoy this story at all, especially because you're telling me that she picked hockey over the sport she's been doing her entire life and went through everything in this movie for she chose to do the hockey finals instead of the qualifier for the olympics no absolutely not not even a difficult choice listen i know she made all these friends and everything but if they were her real friends they would have been like we're winning this game without you go qualify for the Olympics. Like, absolutely not. That's not even a, a high school, like, championship, state, whatever. Yeah, really big deal. Incredible. Like, I'm not trying to deflate that by any means. That's amazing. It's really awesome. But they have all worked multiple years for that. She was there purely just so she could have the scholarship so she could get to her dream of qualifying for the Olympics. And you're telling me she was gonna give up qualifying for the Olympics? No. No, I thought that was the dumbest thing in the world. And then of course I knew they were gonna find a way to make it work that she was gonna do both. Uh, but I really think it should have been go to the Olympic qualifier, qualify for the Olympics, race to help them win the end of the game. I really think that's how that should have gone because you just negated everything she went through because her entire goal was to be able to qualify for the Olympics and she choose like I get that it's like meaningful she chooses because she's part of a team she has friends whatever that is meaningful and that is beautiful but you didn't give me enough to like for me to support that decision like Majority of the hockey team still didn't know she was a figure skater. So I didn't even know if they were real friends for sure, for sure. You know, because I didn't know. It was at the end when they all brought her her skate and did the chant that I was like, okay, they actually love her and support her no matter what. That's good to know. Like, it's so backwards. If this had gone, like, not to be like, I know better than the writers, but like, if this had gone 
she confides in all of them that she's a figure skater and maybe it causes a little bit of a rift, but they're like, you know what? No, like you've been a real friend. Like we support you. We think like, she's like, I'm thinking of not going. And they're like, are you out of your mind? Are you insane? Go qualify for the Olympics. We'll be fine. We'll, we've, you know, we played before you, we can play after you, you know, we'll keep you here in spirit, whatever. And then she qualifies for the Olympics and then races to help them win the game and they're like did you did you qualify did you qualify and she's like yeah and then it's a big celebration and they win state like that would have been so i don't know with the way the story had gone i had felt no support in her choosing to do the hockey championship instead of the olympic qualifier i felt none of that i was like you just went through the most horrible crap this entire movie because of how passionate you are about figure skating you learned an entire new sport, became a really good player on that sport, so you could keep the scholarship, so you could figure skate. I, okay, I digress, I digress. Spencer and Caitlyn kind of being like a romance, not super, but kind of being a romance, What I just didn't vibe with it because I felt like they were like crazy difference in age. Like she, I was like, she has to be like, 14. She has to be like 14 years old. And I felt like he was like 20. I was like, or late, late teens, like 19, 18, because it just felt icky. It, I did not like it. So I looked it up and he was 18 and she was 14 at the time that this movie came out. So it really was that age difference, which four years isn't that big when you're, you know, 24 and 28, but 18 and 14? Freshman dating senior, always icky, always weird, always gross, hate it, feels predatory. And I was never on board with that. It creeped me out a little bit. Not to like, you know, whatever, but the reason I was not on board with the like enemies to lovers moment for them was because I was like, yo, this kid easily, like, I'm like, this kid has to be 20 and she looks 13, 14, like, which gave me icky. I have so many notes in all caps because I'm just like, I'm so angry at this movie. Um, there's a moment where a hockey player like sees some figure skating and is like, they call that skating. And I was like, excuse me? They throttle themselves into the air. Like I'd like to see you try. Also, I don't think Caitlin would have found it that difficult to skate in hockey skates. She just would have to get used to no toe pick and stopping differently, which she even tells herself. So like the first day when she's kind of wibbly wobbly, I don't know if she would have been that wibbly wobbly. Like I believe it would take some getting used to for sure. But I, you know, I don't know. Then the, the mom in this movie makes me so mad. Like ugh, viscerally because she takes over Caitlin's room while she's away at school. It's not like she'll be back for like breaks in summer and like she's not gone gone. It's not college. Takes over her room while she's away for the semester. Every single person in her family thinks she's going to fail and is not supportive in the slightest, even though she's been doing figure skating her whole life so far. And everyone talks about how she needs a better coach because she has the talent to go to the Olympics. Like what? She has the talent to go to the Olympics and everyone thinks she's just gonna fail because she has to play hot. I don't, I, ooh, like the worst parents of all time. Like, I don't even know. Speaking of the parents, at the end, she qualifies for the Olympics. Like the Olympics, you know, the big giant world collaboration of the best athletes ever. She qualifies for the Olympics and her parents are like, woo, yay. I'm like, I'm sorry. The thing you just spent thousands of dollars on her entire life and the thing she has spent her entire life working toward, the thing the mom gave up doing, she just did. And all of y'all are like, whoa, she did it, yay. Absolutely not. Her friends were more excited for her and they didn't even know. I couldn't deal with that. Um, I just, I was also really mad when she was like, I'll do the routine in my hockey skates. I was like, girl, you need a toe pick. Like, it's not like, oh, I'll just launch myself into the, no, no, no. The toe pick, like it's essential for you to do any kind of jump. So, um, but then like really shortly after that she fell and she was like, oh, I don't have a toe pick. I can't do this in my hockey skates. And I was like, yeah, 
no duh. Uh, anyway, this was awful, okay? It made me so mad. Which I guess, like, at least I was watching, and it, it kept me, like, glued to it because I was just angry. Everyone was so nasty for too long that I was like, I don't care about any of this. Like, I barely care about Caitlyn because she was also kind of rude and nasty, but I definitely cared about her the most because she just was getting, sorry, shit on left and right from every direction. Her parents, her coaches, the figure skaters and the hockey players. It's like, is anyone ever going to be in Caitlyn's corner? She's by herself in a janitor's closet. Like, what are we doing? This is so terrible. Like, just because she wants to figure skate? Like, I don't understand. It made me so mad. Uh, and it's bad. It's really poorly written, and it made me mad. <laughs> That's everything I have for Go Figure. My final rating is two hockey skates out of ten. <sighs> Our total movie count is... Her and Dutch will crack out are still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I have a tier starting at just $1. Um, you get free coupon code for merch and you get every video a week early. So you might want to hop on over there. Also, tiers above that, you get daily trivia, random facts every week. Uh, what else? You get bonus content and all that good stuff. So just go, just go, just go. Okay. Buy merch. Merch is great. Merch is grand. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, but I'm not in charge of your life. You are, so you do. And don't be, uh, -huh. this entire movie about it, but I don't know. Let's pick someone specific. The one figure skater who was like pure evil. She, don't be her about it. Valiant. Ugh.